do I recommend going to America on a soccer scholarship part three? So part three, I'm talking about the differences between NCAA Division One and Division Two. They're the only things, the only two divisions I'm going to talk about. Of course, there's Division Three, but they don't give sports scholarships, and there's NAIA, but it's not part of the NCAA, so I'm not going to speak about that. But the difference. From my understanding of Division 1 and 2, generally the money side that the school makes. So majority of Division 1 universities have an American football team. And so that is, I think, a criteria, but pretty much all of them have a, an American soccer, uh, football team and or like a big basketball program because that's what generates money. And generally the Division 1 teams are better than Division 2 teams and some people are going to be in the comments upset about that. But from my experience, generally the D Division 1 teams are better than Division 2. Having said that, there are some brilliant Division 2 teams and I think the top Division 2 teams are certainly up there with the top Division 1 teams. But the middle and bottom D1 teams are much, much better than the middle and bottom D2 schools. And a lot of that is to do with money, the scholarships they can have, the facilities they've got. And so with that, more scholarships and better facilities, you, you generally attract better players, which is, from my experience, what what it was over in the state. So you need to work out you know, what you want. Generally, D2 schools are much smaller. I went to a D1 school in a big city and there was you know, 40,000 students there. So you just need to work out what you want and where you want to play. In terms of going pro, it doesn't really matter. It is much easier at D1. I think you have that reputation of a D1 player and so it is easier at D1. So if you're, you really want to go pro, then perhaps look for D1. But if you play well, if you're a very good player, it doesn't really matter where you play, you will get recognised. People will look at you and if you're good and you do well at trials, then you'll get picked up. So, you know, it's easier at D1, but it doesn't really matter too much in the end.